The museum has a 15,000 piece permanent collection, which includes historic fashion accessories, so that's garments, accessories, we have jewelry, fragrance, textiles, and as well as uh, some Hollywood costumes in our collection. This exhibition is an installation of borrowed, loaned costumes from various uh, owners, including Hollywood studios, costume designers, uh, costume rental houses, and from all over the world. It was the museum staff who thought of this exhibition idea. It was a, it was a very big challenge back then because uh, no one had done this before, and it still is a challenge. We face uh, new challenges with this exhibition every year because of uh, the schedules of uh, film productions and delays with getting films out. and. But basically, from when the film wraps to when it's released and uh, up for an Academy Award nomination, that could be two years, three years, and a lot of times uh, the costumes have been sold to benefit a nonprofit or for the profit of the production company, or the costumes have, uh, they've lost track of them or reused them. So it can be a very big challenge to bring together these costumes, and it gets more and more difficult every year. But I think what's really important is to see how much work goes into costuming a film. Uh, we can only show a small percentage of the costumes that are made for each film, but the, the costume designer is credited, and you can see that even for the four or five costumes from that film, that uh, a lot of work went into them. And it's, uh, you have to think about that if you extrapolate that into the rest of the film, they could, the costume designers could be dressing thousands of people depending on uh, the film and how many people are involved in it and how many extras there are and actors and so forth. So it's really important to see that a lot of thought goes into film costumes uh, to bring about the character um, being portrayed by the actor.